welcome back to the Camera Kids. We are going to Sacia at the top of Queensland, and um, we're just packing the caravan for our trip. And we are actually going near Weepa, like round Weepa, to see my sister. And we are going to be camping up on the top. Yeah. Australia. So it's going to be fun. This is the caravan. These are, this is the, um, this is the bed that I'm going to sleep on. So full. That's where CJ's going to sleep on. This is like, this is the bed here. And there's the fridge, the toilet, a cupboard. And this we'll roof actually goes. We'll just show them around. Yeah. And this roof actually so, goes up. In the fridge, you have to actually press a button because it's so flash. Opens it up. And Pretty you can small, pick, but it'll do. And you can pick your temperature what you want it to be. We have and a stove cold. and a microwave. We also have the kitchen with a little sink and the Thingy, I don't know. A PowerPoint for any of your blenders or toasters, whatever you want. And oh yeah, God. your stove. Stove. Something. Here for storage or anything like that. And also an aircon. So when we get really hot, we can just put this on. And or if you wanted the fresh air, you can open up this hatch like oh. that. If you don't want any flies in, like that. And it's pretty simple. Just figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> and so, this is a remote for yeah. the And the toilet. The yeah. toilet. So you push it down. And there you go. And there's a shower in there. Actually, I forgot about the shower. There is storage behind Catrice where we put Fix where we would off. put our clothes. Now it's Wait, do you just pull it? Okay, well. And oh, nice. uh, this is the cupboards that we're going to put our clothes in. Oh, there's a hot water bottle in there. <laughs> All the yeah. toilet stuff. Oh, yeah. mm, that's just the same. So, so yeah, let's start packing. Bye. Bye. Guys, so we'll have to get the camping chairs for our trip. So let's get into it. So we're getting mum and dad's, and then we're getting Teresa's, CJ's, and mine. Okay, so this blue one is for CJ? Yes. Do you want pink one, or do you want this, like, like this bluey one? Um, I'll have the bluey one. Okay. Yep. Can you one, please? Okay, going back to the car. Let's yep. do it. Let's do it. Hi guys, welcome back. Yes, and I am going to be showing you my bed, well, well, where I am going to be sleeping and how it will transform during when we sleep. Okay, first of all, I need to take the blanket off. Chuck it over there. Second of all, I need to take the pillows. Chuck them on there, and then it's time for the transformation. So I'm going to show you my bed transformation. First, lift this up. Second, squeeze it together. Third, put it down. Should be like this. Voila. Now, if you follow me, press this down. Stop the camera. Now, come over here. There should be clips underneath the clips. Take the table off so it is completely off. Just put it out of your way for one second. Then, this should be Velcroed on. So take this off. And yes, there's storage underneath. Take this one off. And then you 
you should be able to lay your table down again. Carefully. Lay it down. Now Velcro your pillows back on. Should go like that. Lay the foam down. And it should go like that. Now, grab the closest blanket. Come with me. Lay it on top. So it basically does look like a bed. Follow me again. Grab your closest pillows. And it should be done. Morning, cousin and kids. It's 6am. We're about to start our first trip up to the Cape. And we our first stop is at Archer River. See you soon! Bye. Bye! Hi guys, we're about to do our first stop at Flora and that's where the Quinkin Caves and the Aboriginal art will be standing. We'll see you soon! Bye! Bye. We are at the Quinkin Art Caves and we're going to look at Quinkin Art Painting Cave one. Ooh, mm. that sounds interesting. What's yeah. a Quinkin? It's hairy man. Oh, awesome. So is there one type of hairy man, uh, Quinkins, or is there two? Two. Oh, what's the other one? A tall hairy man. A tall man. Yeah. Tall man. And how do you do um, uh, Aboriginal art? Um, you smash the rocks and turn, and then it will turn into like um, ochre. And that's how they used paint back in the days. Oh, are you excited to go and see it? Yeah. All right, let's go, hey? Yeah. Come on. We feel um, reading. What's these that? Can you read it? So that's Can about the. Oh. Aboriginal. Cool. Can I read it? Just read the first part, yeah. Split Rock contained numerous Aboriginal paintings, engravings, and hand stencils. These rock paintings are and engravings express the way of life feelings and spiritual beliefs of the aboriginal people of this religion region region <laughs> wow look at this yeah, yeah, can I put in there? CJ, what country are we on? Yellingy country. Yellingy country. It's lovely out here, eh? Yep. We are pretty high. It's been 15 minutes in and we'll split. we're basically halfway there. Yeah. Probably like another 15 more minutes. It's going to keep going. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye. We made it to Split Rock. It's final. I was not expecting this. Yeah.
wow. Can you see some handprints? Yeah. Don't touch them. Can I touch them? Oh yeah. I found a little thing here. Ooh. What do you think it is? I don't know. Probably like fishnet. It's pretty cool. Well, come on. Let's go find some more things. That's so cool. So that's the red dingo? The red dingo has four toes on the hind feet and all legs the same length. Kangaroos are usually shown with two, the, two hind toes and shorter front legs. There's a kangaroo. Yeah. That's a kangaroo, that's the dingoes. I, I think those are the female. That's a female, yeah. That's and that's the male and that's a male. I think that's a quinkin. See its tail? Yeah. The the, um, you like this CJ? Yep. What's your favourite painting? Um kangaroo. The kangaroo. Well the fill off. Mum, kangaroo. Look. I found a tall male. Where's the tall man? Do you see the person that's behind the thing? Do you see the person that's behind the yellow one? The yellow one. Pretty sure that's him. That's the Quinkin, the tall man Quinkin. No, right here. So why do you reckon there's cave paintings here? Because they tell, it, it's just, they just make up stories and that thing. I think it's a sacred place. You think it's a sacred place? It's the, um... Do you think they used to live here? Yeah, they probably lived here too. And there's like a perfect place for them to live. Yeah. It's, um, it's, it's probably the entry of, um... Welcome, basically people from the future. I think yeah. That could be right, um, yeah. Peace has been shown here. Oh. Do you think it's where they would probably teach the younger people this would be, about yeah. hunting? I yes. bet you this yes. would be the boys' class. You reckon it was a boys' class? I reckon it was a boys' and girls' class. Oh, uh, yeah? You reckon everyone would have stayed here for shelter? Yeah. And they wouldn't probably use this one. They would use they would use the one that we um like the earlier. Yeah. They should they would make stuff like blue room. Yeah. Oh, so you think that down underneath where we first went would be where they would where they would sleep camp. and camp? Yeah. yeah. Ah. Let's get to the other caves. Ooh. See you soon. Bye. What is it, Truth? Bye. These are cottons. Those little like cup thingies. That's like facing downwards. Oh. Hey, mum. Hey, mum. Yeah. They probably used this tree in the past as well. Yeah, they look they would have. They would have made it for the traditional yeah, dances. Oh, <laughs> yes. You would definitely make that. Costumes. And they would weave it into their clothes. And you can like feel it, it's just so soft. Yeah, oh, that's cool. It feels exactly like my it, clothing. Yeah, it, no, it feels like the teddy bears. Oh, yeah, the fluff inside of the teddy bear. Right, the next cave. Um, this is called Flying Fox. I feel like we. I 
Okay, it's more dingoes? No, kangaroos. It's flying foxes. They're flying foxes. Look at all the flying foxes hanging in the rain. Hanging around. It's probably a safer place if you cross the barrier. I think if you cross the barrier, you'd probably get bad luck or something. I think... Um, and it's you... good to be respectful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think you... I think this is where they teach Aboriginal dancing. Ooh, could be. Wow. That's crazy. Wanna go closer? There's tall spirits. That's pretty cool. That's definitely the tall Quinkins. Are they the evil ones? Hi guys, we made it to Cohen. We couldn't go to Archie River because it was getting too dark and also we didn't want to hit the kangaroos going across the road. So we're on our way to Marpoon to see our little cousin. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. We are nearly at Marpoon and we are so excited to see our little cousin and her niece. We'll see you soon. Hi guys. Hi guys, this is my niece right here, and we are at Mapoon. It's a very lovely place. We are going actually going fishing later, and so. Uh, and Marnie has a surprise. And crab. And also, Marnie has a surprise for my niece because it was her birthday like a couple of months. It was like her birthday two months ago, and she's going to be very happy. I think so. Beware from dogs. <laughs> <laughs> ready? Yeah. Say happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. And we also got you. <laughs> what did you get? What did you get? This. What is that? Oh, it's a whole bag of salty plums. What is this? Oh, Pencils. Oh. <laughs> I'm taking a crack down. Coloring in book. It's oh. in the phone. <gasps> Wow, do you like your presents? Oh, good. So, we are here at Marpoon, as you guys may know. Um, we are just about to go fishing. And so we are waiting for a few minutes just for the men to get ready. And um, Catrice over here, is, uh, well, over there, was just grabbing coconuts. Um, so we're, we're here at Marpoon and just about to go fish. We'll see you soon. What did you do today? Uh, we went fishing today and, and, we, and, we, and, I've got and we're eating it right now. Catch some fish, did we? Is the fish good? Yes. Must be, these are all quiet. Yep. 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 Hi guys, it's day three of my poon. We are going crab hunting and we having we are having fish for breakfast. When you go crab hunting, you gotta go on the mangroves to catch them. This it has to be low tide though. I'm going to use this stick to just make sure they grab onto a stick. I'm going to pull it up and try and grab them and uh, put them into the crate. Hopefully that works. What are you going to do, Belia? Just follow us? No. no? What are you going to do? Do nothing. <laughs> oh. 
What about you, CJ? What have you got with you? Spear. That's a pretty cool spear. Where'd you get the spear from? Where? Where's your teacher? Shout out to FNQ Hall Fishing Shirt. I've got the Barramundi. I've got the crab. And I've got the you can. We will post a link in the description below. So, so you can get one. Today. So we're going crabbing just now. And um, we just seen family and a baby dingo. Yeah, baby dingo and a few other dogs. Um, we uh, just headed on our way to the crabbing spot. So yeah, well, let's get into it. Torch. Apparently they taste pretty good. So with the mud crab. Yeah, and yeah, we also the had the mud crab. We have seven mud crabs and I don't know what the family does. So yeah. We'll take four and the other family can take three. What have you got to say about the mangroves? Um not too bad but hurting my feet. Yeah, yeah, the pencil roots were very sharp and then the stilt roots were hard to climb. Yeah, very easy. I only seen a few buttress roots. Buttress roots? Yeah, they're um they're Anyways. Yeah. Hi guys, this is the catch for today. I can't wait for dinner. There's still more in here if you wanted to have a look. I'm gonna have heat and then there's um one of these. Clams. Mussels. And we've got a few periwinkles somewhere that we can eat tonight as well. Yeah. Um, I think they're still here. Yeah. 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 So, bye! Where are you? Oh. Hi guys! We're eating mud crab from like, like, a five like, yes, like an hour ago, like three hours ago. Where are we eating? Yeah. Five grams like not, not much. A few pieces. Sauce. Oh, you did that one, dude. Thank you, boys. Where's the car? They're good, CJ? Mm -hmm. uh, was it worth the drive? Mm -hmm. The drive wasn't that bad. Was it worth going in the mangroves for, CJ? Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we just set it up the caravan we're going to be cleaning it when we end this video but um, we're just setting up outside look at the view guys it's pretty cool um, what else can I say so yeah, we're just setting up the caravan. Um, I'm gonna get out my seat and the mat, and then we'll go fishing later. 
later on. Hopefully. But, yeah. Crazy, I think I know. Oh, wait, that's it. See, Dad, do you want to say hello? Yeah. Okay. Hello. This is mother. Mother. That normally records that. I'll, I'll say yes. Bye bye. So guys, we're going to be playing a game called Build the Castle. So Lynn's going to put a five minute timer and we're going to run and try to get our decorations and go back to our spot and build a little sand castle. And then Lynn's, at the end, we're going to put our, we're going to decorate it and then put, uh, and then Lynn is going to, going to raid us. And I'm yeah. going to take, and I'm going to take pictures. Yeah. To show mom. Three, two, one, go. Who do you reckon is going to win? Mm, Monica, she's my sister. Oh, is that the only reason why? No, because she builds like good ones. Oh, okay. She builds good copy houses and good everything. Do you reckon she's artistic? Yes. What about Catrice? Um, kind of, kind of not. Let's grab all. And take a photo of it. Very cool. One minute down. You got four minutes left. I said five. Oh. Yeah. Mommy, I'd rather build it on the sea. The sand can die. Do you reckon there's big crocodiles in there, CJ? Yeah. Apparently, there's a big crocodile that usually lays up on the beach over there on that island. And he's a big one. So, is that green island? Two minutes in. Is that green island just right there? No, green island's in Cairns. Oh. You got three minutes left. Yeah, okay. Is green island like all the way over there? No, baby, we're nowhere near Cairns. That's all the islands of the Torres Strait. Oh. And what's the Torres Strait? Like Thursday Island, Friday Island, Prince of Wales, Horn Island, oh. Moa Island, no all those. Island. Moa. Moa. Yes. Saibai, all those kind of islands. Remember we used to send um um letters to our cousins. Yeah, what's your cousins' names? <coughs> Emma, and Emma and Tyson. And where do they live? Uh, in Wollongong. Yep, they live in Wollongong. Do you want to say hello, Emma and Tyson? We miss you. Hello, I'm and Tyson, we miss you. Mm -hmm. 
We're almost at the four minute mark and the girls have not even built much of a castle. Mm. You've got one minute left. One minute left? Wow. Yeah. And mum, you don't, um, I'll take a picture of Marnie's and then you, you ride, you ride it and then I'll take a picture of Catrice's and then you ride it. Okay. They don't look, um, like, really good, eh? No, but look at Marnie. That's bigger than Catrice. Yeah. But Catrice has more decorations on hers. <coughs> oh, that orange boat over there now. Look, CJ. What? It like over Was over here, then it must have come back over there, and now it's over there. It might have went around the island. Alright, you got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Beep, step away from the sand castle. Okay, it's time to wait. Alright, what have we got here, CJ? What's your design? Capri? I was thinking to make a coral with shells, but it didn't go well because the time I was really quick. And um, I was gonna put like more decoration, like patterns here. Oh. But yeah. Looks alright, hey CJ. Looks alright. Yes. Alright, let's go over here to the next one. Don't stand on the circle, son. What do you reckon yours is about, Mum? If I only had water, this would be a moat around the castle inside. Okay. And but this is supposed to be somewhere along the um on the coastline, and then when the beach is in the middle, and you've got the you've got the or like the green kind of stuff at the back mm. it's kind of like that in the middle but if I only had this on the side or anything you know so I thought of this is there a secret is there yeah little shells types in here my favorite shells they're only little, so you might not see them. Okay, me and CJ are going to talk about our... Let's see, talk look. about what we... Sorry, sorry. There's like little shells that I hid. Ah, okay. So yeah. Come on, CJ. Come over here. Let's discuss. Come on, CJ. Now, CJ. Yeah? What did you think? Who do you reckon has the best one? Um, one is more bigger and more um, texture and had sneaky stuff in it. Mm, yeah, but you know, it's a sandcastle. It's supposed to be on top. It's supposed to be presentation, not like hidden inside, if you know what I mean. But I Money's out of. Out of. We'll go out of ten. What do you reckon? Um. A seven out of ten. And what do you reckon about? I mean, nine out of ten. And what do you? A seven. We'll go with a seven. No nine. Oh nine. Okay. What did you rate? What do you reckon about Catrice's? What did you like about it? The shells and 
feels good to see the patterns, but these two were but yes. So I'll give it a nine out of ten too. You gave it nine and Marnie a nine as well. Well, yeah, I think I liked Catrice's because it was neat. And Marnie's just had too much going on. I just don't like how you have to dig dig up the castle to find what's inside. It should be on top, right? What do you reckon? Or did you like it inside? The hell. Yeah. But I like feeling like that. Okay. So, so me and so Kurt would be sad out of them. So what about presentation for Catrice? How many points out of ten? Nine. And what about creativity? Was she creative? Kind of, so that would be like an eight. Eight? eight Alrighty. Okay, and Marnie was... Nine. Nine. Presentation and creativity was... Ten. Creativity ten. Okay. Well, I think we have a winner. Yeah? Yeah. Alrighty, come on. Let's go. Alrighty. Can you please come over here? Well, we've had a discussion. Yeah. So and... Well. We said that Catrice had nice, pretty shells on top. That's what I said. And it was pretty neat and tidy. And Marnie's, CJ liked the inside, the creativity. So by only two points, Marnie is the winner. So congratulations to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Anyways, let's think of another game. Let's go and have breakfast. Alrighty. Breakfast. Ready for breakfast? Because we got to get to the tip of Australia. So we're at the front of um, the Hold tip on. of Australia. And just about to walk up and when we go up there I don't know we're just gonna have fun and we're gonna take a video of the whole year let's go Got far from all oh, of them. There's some up there. Look, yeah, there's another one. There's like three of them. Hey, look what I got. Look. Whoa, this is look. so cool. Oh, guys, guys, guys.
trying to relax and enjoy the sunset but Marnie Kavanaugh is just doing weird things look at this sunset so you're going back to camp guys we're going back and our first stop is fruit back so, well, I forgot to put my swimmers on because, well, we're, we're swimming at the waterfalls. Are we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, these are so good, guys. <laughs> and me and Marty are. That's the ferry. So, yeah, we might see crocodiles going across. Yeah. We are about to go on the ferry, guys. There is the water. We're going on the boat with the other car. On the side of the water.
and that was it. Bye. So we're on our way to Free Bat Falls, right? But apparently it's a bit of a walk, but I don't care. It's them. Which way do I listen? Can I take a photo of the camera? So pretty. I guess I'm just going the right way. I was going the right way until I don't like here, but I guess it's just there. I reckon. If I get this right, I get this right. Oh look, so there. there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa. What? Welcome to Fruit Bat Falls. Right, you can't see over there. Dad. That's so cool. Look at it! Oh, look at it! What's that called again? Is it a fly trap? Yeah. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one of those. So the fly goes in that thing, right? And then um, that the leaf kind of leaf, the leaf kind of looking thing closes up, and it's trapped in there. And there you go, no more flies for us. There's one in there, just right there. That's so cool. Speaking of flies, they're everywhere. Wait, you might see one. No? Whoa. <laughs> go on, go. <laughs> we just feed it. Was that cool? We just feed it a eating. <laughs> It's just like, it's just so weird. We have to feel like, you know, <laughs> yeah. so we're at Han River. Han River Roadhouse. Han River. Yeah. We can't be out because the lights weren't working. We're just fixing them. Oh, there. And yeah, we're having breakfast. Breakfast. <coughs> What else happened? If you don't know, <laughs> the Rabbitohs have won and the Panthers. So they'll be in the grand final. And we're going there. And we'll be singing loud for the Rabbitohs. We finally arrived to kids. Shout out to Malika and Wayne for helping us and yeah. guiding us through the thing. And thanks for Grandma and Granddad for letting us their caravan and their car. But my three favorite things are meeting Wayne, Wayne and his family, going fishing and going to fruit butt falls. My three favorite things were um, meeting Wayne and his family for the first time and thanks for letting help us out and guide us through. Um, I liked uh, the tip as well and the fishing in all places. My three favorite things were going to 
my food and seeing my sister and going mud climbing and then going to see, um, feeding the emu and uh, going to Cecilia. <laughs> so see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, make sure you sc sc so like subscribe. and subscribe <laughs> and rate for our third. And how do you rate us for our third video? Yeah. Oh, and next week we will be um, taking, putting out another video on the trip to Brisbane. Uh, the footy finals again. Last time was semis, now it's grand. Panthers vs. Rabbitohs rematch. Yeah. And it's gonna be full on. I'll be screaming loud. I'll be screaming loud. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Okay. Say see ya! Bye! Bye!